Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, where last time we proved Miles Edgeworth wasn't the murderer. But the trial isn't over. We didn't get a not guilty verdict, which kind of confuses me. We, we, we've we proved it wasn't Miles Edgeworth and not just in the kind of way we do it in this world and this reality where... We proved he couldn't have done it, or we proved that he didn't do it. We actually proved someone else did it. And everyone knows who it is, and we're looking for him. But apparently that's not enough. <laughs> right, let's... We probably have to find him. Oh, why are you sad? What was Mr. Edgeworth talking about? I don't know, I've, I've forgotten. I've, I've, I've done things since then. Oh, flashback. Good, I need this. A memory of a crime that I committed. A memory of murder. Right, well, we'll just... Let's not talk about it and move on. Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently. But he'd never take someone's life. Never. Nick. Yo, how's everyone doing? We're all really sad. What do you think of my performance today? It was quite awful. I had him swooning in the aisles. Her, um, my, uh, no. S -s swooning? Me? Oh, uh, uh yes, I, I do remember feeling faint. Right on. Tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? Right, Nick. Me? No. I've seen you before. Maybe my heart skipped a beat or two. I think you can do better than that. Come on! I saved Edgeworth in there, dude. Edgy! You guys should be bowing before me. Yeah, bow before your hero. Did you lie? Please tell me you didn't lie, and that's why we have a third day. Oh no. Larry, you really helped out in the trial today. You did! If you weren't there, Larry, I'm sure Mr. Edgeworth would have been found guilty. <laughs> but seriously, Nick, uh, that boat shop caretaker guy is pretty suspicious. Edgy ain't off, off the hook yet. Why not? We all already know it wasn't him. Way to spoil the mood, Larry. Hey, I'm just a guy sitting in the audience, you know. But from where I was sitting, Edgy seemed pretty edgy. I mean, can you really know he's telling the truth about that night? Nick? I don't know. But what I do know is... I'm going to believe in you two until the end. Us two? Edgeworth and... Who else? You mean me, right? Nah, he means me. Right, Nick? Yeah, you, Larry. Not me? But, but, why you, Larry? Huh? Um, actually, yeah. Why me, Nick? That, I mean, that is a valid question. <sighs> Enough with the silent treatment. Nick, why do you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? I mean, he's ch changed recently, true, but when we first met him, he was kind of a joke, don't you think? You didn't know him back then. Back when he wanted to become a defense attorney. Wait, was that when you two were classmates? Yes, in grade school. And we're getting dramatic music implying a flashback. They saved me, Miles and Larry. They saved me, and I'll never forget it. That's why I became a defense attorney, you know. What? Hey, hey, Larry, what's he talking about? Huh? Uh, um, uh, sorry, I kind of forgot. Here's a really serious case. Here's a really dramatic moment, introducing kind of character depth, and the comic relief character just ruins it. Okay, Nick, out with it. I'm going to hear the story today, and that's final. Okay. It's kind of a long story, so hang in there. It was the very end of third grade. I was on trial. A class trial. A, a class trial? You remember, Larry? Spring, end of third grade. Kid in our class got his lunch money stolen. Lunch money? Our school was really small. 
Every month, kids would bring in an envelope with money f for lunch from home. Huh, I see. Anyway, this kid's envelope disappeared, with $38 still inside. Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I do remember that. I can see why you'd forget, though. You were out of school that day. Anyway, the envelope had been stolen during P.E. class. I was coming down with a cold, so I'd skip P.E. that day. I was the only one not in class. So, they thought you did it? Yeah. The kids in class said I should be put on trial. Trial? Next day, we held a classroom trial with me as the defendant. I, I I didn't do it. Guilty. He did it. Guilty. Give me the give him the money back. He's such a meanie. No one play with him. Admit you did it. You can't hide the truth. Tell us the truth. We're not going to play with you anymore. Yeah, no borrowing my eraser. We shouldn't be allowed in the relay race or on the library committee. Give me back my 50 50 cents I loaned you. Ah, so much going on. Now, Phoenix, you know you shouldn't steal people's money. It's not right. Oh, like, oh, I've had that. I've been punished for things I didn't do in class, in like in school, and it's really, it really bothers you. Like, it's and, and the teacher just assumes you did it, and it's like, but I didn't. In the end, even the teacher thought I'd done it. Go over and apologize, Phoenix. I I didn't know what was happening. Like, oh, sorry. <clears throat> I didn't know what was happening. Sorry, this is out. This is out of Phoenix. I was so sad. I couldn't stop crying. Everyone was staring at me like I'd done it. I tried to apologize. I went to where the boy whose money had been stolen was sitting. That's when it happened. He shouldn't have to apologize. The only thing that belongs in a trial is evidence. Anything else has no place. You should all be ashamed, amateurs. M M Miles? <gasps> He's got a bow tie on! That's so cool! Wasn't you stole my money, was it? N no? Then you shouldn't apologize. Everyone's been shouting you did it, but no one has any proof. That is why, Your Honor, this boy is innocent! But, but Miles, it was your money that was stolen. Yeah, 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 he did it. He's the one. We don't need proof. Make him say he's sorry. Why don't you all just shut up? Oh, that's Larry. This is always how it is. Everybody ganging up and picking on one person. Just think how he feels. He said he didn't do it, so he didn't do it. Because criminals never lie. Very well. I will replace the money myself. This class trial is over. That's how it happened. Wait. That's the kind of trial I'm expecting. Where, you know, the defense... Well, actually, you know, actually, a bit more rigorous. But the defense just makes the... Just proves that the person didn't do it. Why didn't they prove who actually did it? Why wasn't that the tutorial? That'd be a bit fun and a bit silly. And then... <gasps> Whoa, Miles, Edward, Miles is now a, a... A prosecuting attorney. Ooh, how did that happen? Ooh... Interesting twist. After that, three of us were the best of friends. Whoa! I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea either. I mean, I forgot. That's when I learned what it meant to be alone. Totally alone, without a friend in the world. You did a good thing, Larry. Um, yeah, well, I was just lucky that I took the day off from school. If I'd been there, they would have thought I'd done it. So I took it kind of personally, see? something smells, it's usually the butts. That's the third time we've had that. Is that meant to be a running gag? After the trial. Anyway, Edgeworth and I talked after that class trial. That's when I heard his father was a defense attorney. I remember his eyes would shine when he talked about his father. I'm going to become a defense attorney, just like my father. A famous defense attorney. Then, a few months later, he suddenly transferred to another school. The DL6 incident. Right. I'm not sure, but the transfer probably had to do with his father's death. That's so sad. It was several years later when I heard Edgeworth's name again. There was an article about him in the in the newspaper. The headline was something like, Dark Suspicions of a Demon Attorney. Fabricating evidence, manipulating testimonies, covering up facts. The article said he'd do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. But why? What happened? I mean, that's not the edgy I used to know at all. That's what I thought too. Tried to get in touch with him. I don't know how many times. He never replied. I guess he didn't want to see his old friends. He couldn't just drop it though. I wanted to meet him, to learn why he had become who he became. That's when I decided. Wait, 
You don't mean... That's why? That's why you became a defense attorney? To meet Edgeworth? That sounds like a really, really, really cheesy romantic plot. <laughs> really cheesy romance story in, like, a TV show or something. If I were a defense attorney... If I was, sorry. If I was a defense attorney, I knew he'd have to meet me whether he wanted to or not. In court. Edgeworth believed in me, and I believe in him. He's in pain, and no one's on his side. I'm the only one who knows the real Edgeworth. I'm... I'm the only one who can help him. Because we're ignoring Larry at this point, because why not? Whoa, Nick! So, so, so is that why you helped me out for free? Um, yes. I helped you because I believed in you. Except I don't remember saying I'd do it for free. Oh, Nick! Nick! Nick. We have to save Mr. Edgeworth. It's the last thing we do, okay? Right. Very ma well, maybe. First, there's that rental boat shop caretaker. We need to find out who or what he is. I'd settle for who. I guess I can clean out, clean out some of this evidence I no longer need. Okay, let's go. Ba -ba -ba. Right, we will move. If everything ties into the DL6 and there was only one witness, one other witness, it's got to be him, hasn't it? Hey, pal! Long time no see. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. Close one today, eh? I got so worked up, I snapped my tie in half. How? What? No problem, pal. Thanks to you, we now know who really did it. But we haven't ruled that Edgeworth is not guilty. You mean the boat shop caretaker? Look, I'll make you a promise. I'll have that scoundrel in my custody by trial time tomorrow. Come what may. Am I then gonna... How? What? So, it, if they're gonna have the guy they actually suspect of doing of committing the murder on trial tomorrow, am I gonna be his defense attorney in the last trial of this case? Could, let the game play out. Let the game play out. It's my duty to use a police officer. Now I'm off to catch me a criminal. Uh, so the gumshoe sure is active today. Oh, one more thing. Hick. No one can go into the woods today. The woods? Where Lotta was camping? Uh, the woods are off limits to camping, and apparently the park ranger found out. He got pretty mad. No one can go in for a while. I guess Lotta's in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Alright, so we want to move further in. Huh? The, the steel eyesore is missing. Eyesore? Come on, if you're going to call it that, you'll steal Samurai Saw. Come on, let's get it right. Looks like the hot dog stand is closed too. Guess Larry's too busy worrying about Mr. Edgeworth to show up for work. Okay. Boat rental shop! Yes, the boat rental shop. That old caretaker got away. Yep. Never imagined he might be the real murderer. Ahem! I know that clearing of the throat anywhere. Ah, oh, hello! What might you be doing here? Out for a walk, hmm? Ah, the days of my wolf, like the scent of fresh lemon. You see? Mr. Grossberg? There's no time for idle reminiscing. Mr. Edgeworth's trial ends, ends tomorrow. Ah, uh, that is true, yes. But from what I saw of today's trial, Edgeworth should be fine, right? Uh, well, I'm not so sure about that. Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, I, I'm not sure. Hmm. If you find anything out, come by my office at once. I may be able to offer you some assistance. Thanks. What do you think Mr. Grossberg was doing here anyway? Who knows? Oh, is... Ooh. So, is he going to be the defense for the boat rental guy and we're going to be the prosecution and we're going to just flip everything? Maybe. Boat rental shop doesn't look like anyone is around. Caretaker must have run for the hills. Looks like it. He didn't seem like a bad person. 
because there are some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in a boat from this dock. Apparently the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. Indeed, the space for one more boat at the dock. Okay. Right, well, can I go in? Yes. Hmm. Nobody's home. Hello, hello. Hey, it's Polly. I wonder where your owner's gone, Polly. Hello, hello. Can't believe he'd run off and leave his poor parrot to fend for herself. Hello, hello. I'm having far too much fun doing that. Um. <laughs> right. What's in the box? Reminds me, Nick. Polly here knows the number to the safe, right? Yeah, that's right. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Let's open it, Nick. Come on. I'm sure, there isn't any money in there. Ah. Oh. But hey, he keeps it locked, right? So there must be something of value in there. Well, something he values. I'm not so sure. Okay, Nick, let's see what's in there. Guess there might be a clue or two. The only thing in here is a letter. A letter? Oh, boring. Hmm. There's no name or signature on this thing. It's handwritten in very precise, clear letters. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth. No, no, Nick. Why would Mr. Edgeworth's name be on here? How should I know? I'm going to read the whole thing. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Dorsa says, this is your last chance. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Oh, he's he was the murder suspect. He wasn't a witness or anything, he was the suspect. Or were they the same person? That's entirely possible, and I wasn't paying attention. Bristol Letter goes on to describe the murder plot in detail. How to kill Robert Hammond and frame Edgeworth. Calling Edgeworth out to the lake, getting on the boat, firing twice. It's exactly what I figured out today in court. It's all here, in perfect detail. What do you think it means, Nick? I don't know. But it looks like these are instructions for that caretaker. When he killed Robert Hammond and called out Edgeworth, he was following instructions. Who could have written that letter? And what does it mean to get revenge on Miles Edgeworth? Look, I don't know, okay? But one thing's for certain. This letter is an amazing clue. Oh, wait, no, the suspect got off. Robert Hammond was the defense attorney. Okay, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. Probably shouldn't just kidnap her. The police know about her anyway. I'm sure they'll do something. Well, okay. Sorry, Polly. Says I can't take you. Okay, now the bird's going to hate me. Okay. Doesn't look like you used this kitchen much. You're right. Guess the whole pasta restaurant thing was a lie. What, you thought he was telling the truth? Okay. So, I think now we head to, we visit Grossberg. That's not the option I meant to press, because that's where it was last time, and clearly it's not there anymore. Hmm, looks like Detective Gumshoe hasn't gotten back yet. Gumshoe, you won't be coming back today. Oh, really? She said there was some guy he had to arrest by tomorrow. The boat shop caretaker. Shouted something about catching him if it's the last thing I do, pal. Good luck, Gumshoe.